This is SAT test 5, non-calculator question number 3. College Board gives you a quadratic equation and asks for the solutions. There's two basic ways to solve this. One is to factor, the other is with the quadratic formula. Either way, the numbers will be much easier if we notice that there's a common factor of 4. So this is 4 times x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. If that product equals 0, since 4 is not 0, x squared minus 2x minus 3 has to be 0. And I can factor that. x and x, 1 and 3. Since the middle term is negative 2x, the 3 is negative and the 1 is positive. If this product is 0, and I repeat this to myself every time I solve a product equals 0. If the product is 0, either the first factor is 0, so x equals negative 1, or the second factor is 0. So x equals positive 3, and x equals negative 1, x equals positive 3 gives us answer choice B. There's another way of doing this, and that is once I get down to x squared minus 2x minus 3, I could also use the quadratic equation the quadratic formula. Sometimes you will have to use the quadratic formula, so it's worth going over that formula here. If you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this particular equation, a is the x squared coefficient and that's 1 b is the x coefficient, that's negative 2, and c is the constant, that's negative 3. I always write these down to avoid either substituting them into the wrong value or more frequently dropping a negative. And we're all good at dropping negatives, so finding a way to avoid that error is a good thing. Negative b would be minus negative 2 is positive 2. Square root b squared negative 2 squared is 4, minus 4ac, negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12, times a is still 12, over 2a is over 2. So x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 over 2, which is 2 plus or minus 4 over 2. With the plus 2, that's x equals 2 plus 4 over 2, which is 6 over 2 is 3. With the minus, that's x equals 2 minus 4 over 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So that gives us 3 and negative 1, which is choice B, the same answer I found by factoring. In most cases, if an expression is factorable, factoring is easier than the quadratic formula, but it's good to be proficient at both. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.